it's quite incredible how so many good sized fish can live here. It is a winter paradise out here. Fish on. Whoa, he's putting up a scrap this one. Fish on. No way. No way. Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. Something particularly special today. I am fishing a very untouched stream. So untouched, in fact, that it's a bit of a secret. I can't even tell you roughly where in the country I am today, but it's been quite a drive, quite the journey. But just look at this for some scenery behind me. There's such a deep frost. I'm not sure it's quite snow. Fished here a couple of times. This was the site of my first ever grayling. So, this little stream, as far as I can remember anyway, is absolutely stacked with fish. There's so many grayling in here. It's just a matter of getting them to bite because I'm on my own today. Not much of a coarse angler, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But who knows, we'll probably, hopefully we'll catch a couple and in the snow too. Here, I know it's not trout season, but there's always a chance of an accidental trout. So if I feel like I've stumbled across a bit of a trout hole where there's a few of them, I won't fish it and I'll move on. But yeah, there's always that chance. Can't help what bites, can you? Just coming to the first bit of river now. Here we go. It's almost a magical little pool, look at this. Water's very clear today, very clear. So I'm just gonna kick things off with some maggots today. I've also got some worms in the bag, just in case this doesn't quite work but I'm just gonna get a couple handfuls of these in the pool and get the fish feeding. It's got two little maggots on a size 16 hook. Might not take long before we get a bite today, but who knows. I'll do for now. Right, first cast targeting grayling in what feels like forever. I will actually just quickly say that I've I've not done much grayling fishing at all in my life. So this is new to me. Fish on. No way. No way. That didn't take long at all. Feels like a grayling. Already. <laughs> oh my days. That was quick. It's not a bad fish this either. Oh my God. That's a beauty. That's an absolute beauty. I just loosen that drag off just in case he wants to run. Oh, it's off. It's off. Oh no. That's such a red fin on it as well. You know, sometimes you see a grayling in there. They've got a massive red fin. And it's just really prominent. That was one of those. Right, just got some fresh maggots on. I'm gonna try and get my weight just in, just where that fast flow comes over the edge of that little lip there. I've got a nibble, I think, already. Fish. There we go. Feels a tiny bit bigger than the last. Whoa. That's another beautiful fish. That's bigger than the last one. If we get this one in the net, we've we've righted the wrongs of before, for sure. Whoa, whoa, that's bigger than the last. That is a stunner. That is a stunner. Come on, get in the net. It's fighting so hard, this. Yes, we've got it. We've got it in the net, get in. <laughs> Come on. So don't worry, I'm squatting in the water here. So if I let go of this fish, it's going straight back in. Ah, 
absolutely beautiful grayling. Look at that fin there. That is what I came here for today. That is an absolutely stunning fish. It's only taken us about 10 minutes, if that, to catch it. Just get a quick bit more bait on and we'll get back out there. So that's me rebaited with a couple of fresh maggots. One of each colour. I keep going for the underarm cast and then changing my mind. Fish on. I think. Yeah, that's a fish on. That's another grayling. Another beautiful one as well. Good size on it. <laughs> These fish are stunning. Hooked right in the lip. I've got to be careful here because I'm using barbless hooks. I don't know if you can see that down there, but that is another beautiful fish. Probably even maybe slightly bigger than the last. Got it. Come on, look at that. Now isn't the grayling just a beautiful fish? Look at that fin there. That is incredible. Go on, mate, off you go. Look at it. What a fish that was. To be fair, so far this couldn't really be going much better. There's so many fish down there, I'm getting plenty of knocks. But I will move on soon, because as I say, this is just one small pull. If you think this is a beautiful place, just wait till you see some of the next places we're going to be fishing. Got a nibble. Go on, commit to it. Come on. Fish on. That's another nice grayling. These fish are just unbelievably beautiful. Again, that could be a very similar size to the other two we've had today. All been beautiful fish. Maybe that's the biggest actually. So feast your eyes on this for a beautiful grayling. We are over the water, don't worry. Look at that, absolute cracker of a fish. Oh, slippy little thing though. Let's get this one back. Oh. Well, that's three fish already. And bites from a few more. I know I said earlier there was a chance of trout in here, and there still is, but this looks like a nice little grayling spot. I will say though, if we do get a trout, it's not likely to be a small one in here. The trout do get big in this little stream. That's it, right. Fish on, get in. Another nice grayling again. Maybe, I can't tell if these fish are all exactly the same size or if they're just getting ever so slightly bigger every time. <laughs> what a day's fishing this has turned out to be so far. What a day. And he's in the net. Well, grayling number four could be the biggest of the day. There you go. Another beautiful fish. Just look at the fins on these grayling. And he slipped out my hand and is back off into the stream. That's why you kneel over the water when you're holding a fish, if possible, because they are slippy, aren't they? Just got a couple more maggots on now. Gonna get this cast into this pool again because surely there must be a limit soon about how many grayling they can even be in one little pool on a river. But we've not found that limit yet, so we'll keep going. We're on, we're on. I didn't even realize we were. Just lift it up to move the hook. And we're on. This is insane fishing here. Yes. 
So what we have resting down here in the net is grayling number five. It's another absolutely beautiful fish. I mean, just look at that. The average size on these is very, very good. It's gonna get this one off on the way, maybe catch one more in this pool and then go try find somewhere else to fish. Look at that. Absolutely stunning fish. Well, I have to say I did expect to catch fish today, but I didn't expect to be catching five grayling in less than an hour, I think. I think it's only been about 45 minutes, but this pool behind me here is just absolutely loaded with grayling. I reckon there's more in there as well, so, but I don't want to spend my whole day just fishing this one pool. So one, maybe two more fish if I decide I want to be a bit greedy and then we'll go exploring adventure fishing UK style. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate everyone that does that. Well, if there's a lot of grayling here, then that must mean that there's also a lot of food. And if there's a lot of food, that means there could be a very, very big one in here somewhere. Five in this pool. Surely not a sixth. Fish. Fish on. <laughs> it's jumping, this one. Not seen a grilling jump before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is honestly ridiculous. The amount of fish in this river. Come on, mate. And he's in, get in. Another one. Unhooked himself in the net, this one, so we'll just let him straight off. Just give him a little rest, make sure he doesn't swim off too soon. There we go. Game, set, and match. Can't resist a final last cast in here before we move on. And then maybe I'll revisit this at the end. Fish on! No way! No way, that is ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. These fish are coming one cast after another and then... Oh no, he's off! He's off, how's that happened? Well... I have to say, this is one of the most ridiculously good days fishing I've had so far. Well, this is turning out to be a red letter day, isn't it? Oh, nothing puts a big smile on the face quite like back-to-back -back fish. And look at this for a beautiful day. It is a winter paradise out here. <laughs> wow. It's going to move along now. In some ways, I'm surprised I had that much action there, and in some ways, I'm not. This is a pretty untouched stream. Not many people know about this, hardly anyone at all fishes it. A big shout out to my friend Callum who introduced me to it originally. So yeah, because that was fed by a little inflow into the water, that's where they are gonna be concentrated, but there's some other really cool looking places I'm gonna try now. What a beautiful place. I'm so glad I decided to come here before the frost melted. Everywhere I wanted to fish really is frozen, so. The stream it is. I don't fish many rivers typically, not through uh, the winter. But this is very quickly becoming my favourite. <laughs> Absolute winter wonderland. Right, best be quiet now because some of these swims are quite. Step bit of stealth required here. Look at this one here. This little deep run, you can see the shallows, where the shallow turns into deep. There should be some fish in there. So I think now I'm fishing sort of stream runs rather than big deep pools. The bites are going to come slower. That's okay, I'm not expecting a fish to cast like last time, I just want to see more of what this stream has to offer because it is absolutely magical. Fish 
Okay, Sean. It's another grayling. Come on, yes. Oh, no, it's off. It's jumped and it's spat the hook. It's taken my maggots too. Now we just gotta hope there's more than one biting fish in here. Well, just put plenty of bait in, so they should they should be nice and woken up if there are. We're on smallest one for a while. This. Get it in the net. Come on. And it's in. So I had to run after my rod to get this one, but this is the smallest grayling of the day. Absolute beauty. Well, now we've had our grayling in there. It was only a small one, but we did miss quite a big one. That stream little section behind me it is very small, so I don't think there's going to be anything else in there, so... Gonna move around, find another bit of river. Tell you what, so far we've done a cracking job of avoiding any trout. Not sure how we've been so lucky, but long may it continue. Just very quickly talking you through my setup on this winter's day, we have the rigged and ready fish rig 180 semi-telescopic travel rod. So I usually use this for perch and trout fishing, that sort of stuff too. But it also doubles up as a really nice sort of lightweight general purpose rod. We've got that just on a, a weight with a weight stop down to a size 14 or 16. I've got both hooked with a couple of maggots on. And for the reel, we have the rigged and ready RR1000, which is just a small fixed spool spin and reel loaded with eight pound mono. You can actually get 10% off anything from the rigged and ready website using discount code AFUK10 at checkout. This looks like a bit of a nicer pool here. What a lovely looking little spot this is. Definitely two pairs of socks weather if you're doing this. Found that out the hard way the other day when I was pike fishing. One pair of socks, really cold, big mistake. This looks very fishy indeed around here. Well, I really had high hopes for this little corner here, but nothing. I've had my maggots down there for about 10, 15 minutes now. Maybe time to move on. Look at this place. It's like a labyrinth of little pools and tiny little bits of stream. Quite magnificent, really. So I would love to catch something in this pool in particular. We've got a rod cast there because one of the last times I came here, I really wanted a picture with a grayling by that bridge. I'll actually show you that footage now from about a year and a half ago, fishing this very little corner on this river, and I caught a nice grayling. Fish. Are you serious? Yep. Is that good, isn't it? It's not small. Look, could be a grayling. I think it is a grayling. It's got a bit of fight in it, this one. Yeah, grayling, look at it. That's a good one. Looks like I'll be getting my dream picture after all. Mm. Hold on, I'm just taking time of time with it. It does feel like a... Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, you are joking me. I have to land this fish. <laughs> now I have just caught my biggest ever grayling by quite some way. Have a look at this. It's 
stunning fish. Really red fin. Beautiful. Well, even though we had that big one in here last time, um, it doesn't look like it's meant to be today. I'm just keeping an eye on my rod. But yeah, I've been fishing for a while now and it's got very, very tough now. I'm away from that one pool, so I'm thinking because it's very, very cold. It's not just cold. It's been like minus six or seven overnight or something because it's really cold. I don't really know much about grayling behavior, but maybe they all bunch up in the very deepest or the very biggest part of the stream. And if so, then I've caught all of those. But don't worry, I'm going to go back there because I'm sure there was more fish in there after at the end but first I'm just going to keep exploring because I'm finding some beautiful views. Now here's something you might not know about me in my younger days I used to be a Doritos tangy cheese man but I feel like my taste buds have matured over to the the chilly heat wave side of the spectrum now for sure. Fish on, fish on, <laughs> come on, felt that one biting for quite a while, just in tiny little nibbles though, tiny little nibbles, not the biggest one of the day but it's putting up a really good account of itself. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. And he's in the net, get in. What a result. Another stunning, perfect looking grayling on this wintry day. Something so special about targeting these fish in the snow or the frost. Have to say it's very cold on the hands, but I like it. Just gonna get a cast in on this very same corner. Oh, that didn't go so well then. Just noticed a big branch going in, I have to avoid that. That's a definite snag hazard. There we go. I think I just had a knock then. Gonna get my hand on the rod just so I know. Fish on. Another grayling. Whoa, he's putting up a scrap this one. That's a bigger fish as well. Oh, that's a bigger fish. What a red letter day this has turned out to be. This one's really fighting. Oh, it's not ready yet, I don't think. Wow, this one's beautiful. This one is actually beautiful. I know I've said that about all of them, but this one especially so. Wow! <laughs> Look at that, the sort of iridescent green. Amazing. So, one of the biggest fish of the day. Another beautiful grayling, this. Absolutely stunning fish. Now, if you're thinking about going grayling fishing, especially this method, grayling fishing, please, please make sure you've got a disgorger because they can take it down quite deep. These aren't expensive either. I just bought this one for about a pound at the tackle shop, so... It's not hard to get one, no excuse for not having one in the bag. Well, I think I've lost count of how many fish I've had now. It's either 
seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. I think it's eight. I think we're on eight grayling and no trout. So, so far everything's gone really well. I don't know about you, but for me, there's just nothing quite like being out fishing and exploring and seeing the sights. And obviously the look I've had fishing today has given me a nice buzz as well. Also, in case you didn't catch my latest video where I talked about this, you'll see this hat, forecast clothing. Me and my mate Harry have started this brand up. The aim is to bring something really funky and new to a, a dark green and camo fishing clothing world. I'll leave a link to the description. Link to the description? Link in the description for anyone that wants to check that out. I'd really appreciate you swinging by the website and letting us know what you think. I have to say this has been my own little slice of paradise today fishing here. Not another angler out, probably hasn't been fished for a while this. Not a bit of litter in sight either, which is always good. And a very, very jam packed with fish stream. Doesn't get much better than this for winter fishing, that's for sure. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. It's been an unbelievable day's fishing so far, and I'm very grateful for you hanging around to watch it.